There's something different in the air when people talk about the Tesla Model 2. It's as if the whole world is about to witness the debut of a new standard in the automotive industry, and 2026 marks the exact turning point. Tesla's most anticipated car emerges not only as an affordable vehicle, but as a masterclass in modern engineering. Elon Musk seems to have decided that, this time, the focus wouldn't be on power or speed, but on the intelligence that protects. The idea of airbags that think before impact sounds almost futuristic, and that's exactly what the Model 2 promises, to predict danger before it happens. Instead of reacting to an accident, it anticipates it, transforming milliseconds into a real margin of life. The secret lies in software version 2025.32.3, equipped with a camera-guided proactive airbag system. Using Tesla Vision, the vehicle observes the environment with surgical precision, recognizing a potential frontal impact even before the sensors detect the impact. At that instant, the car begins inflating the airbags milliseconds ahead of the conventional time, and in that tiny interval, lives can be saved. It's impressive to imagine a system that already prepares to protect the passenger before the accident actually happens. Tesla, once again, proves that safety can be reinvented with software, not just steel and aluminum. Most interestingly, this system doesn't replace traditional sensors. It works in harmony with them. Cameras capture the scene, sensors analyze force and movement, and the central computer instantly decides what to do. This data fusion reduces errors and accelerates system response to levels never before seen in a mass production car. The feeling is that the Model 2 is not just a vehicle, but a digital guardian, attentive, agile, and relentless when it comes to protecting its occupants. All this without altering the car's physical structure, simply enhancing the intelligence that controls it. And here's a curious detail. This breakthrough didn't happen by chance. Within Tesla, engineers had been studying the behavior of real collisions captured by the brand's own vehicle cameras. By cross-referencing data from hundreds of accidents, they discovered patterns that allowed them to create an algorithm capable of recognizing the exact moment a collision becomes inevitable. It's as if the car learned, with each event, to be smarter. And this is something few automakers have dared to attempt. Transforming data from real tragedies into a digital shield that prevents the next impact. To drivers, the difference may seem subtle, but it's monumental. In a typical accident, the airbag needs to deploy between 20 and 30 milliseconds after detecting the impact. A blink of an eye is a thousand times slower than that. Now, imagine the Model 2 initiating the process a few milliseconds earlier. This anticipation allows the airbag to form into the ideal shape at the exact moment the driver's body is thrown forward. The result is smoother and more effective absorption, reducing the chance of serious head and chest injuries. This type of technology completely changes the logic of automotive safety. Before, cars simply reacted. Now, they act predictively. It's a leap comparable to what ABS meant for brakes in past decades. And Tesla, with its history of organically integrating hardware and software, is paving a new path where every component, every line of code, works as if it were part of a living organism. By 2026, this combination of sensors and intelligence will become the new standard, and those who don't keep up will be left behind. Some engineers are already calling the Model 2 the car that sees the future, and that's no exaggeration. The ability to react before something happens is the kind of innovation that separates the innovative from the traditional. Elon Musk, by betting on this kind of technology, is essentially telling the market that time, those few milliseconds, is the new gold of safety. And perhaps he's right, because when it comes to protecting lives, every fraction of a second counts. And while everyone talks about the price, design, and range, few realize that the Model 2's true secret lies in what's unseen the intelligence hidden behind the dashboard, observing, calculating, and acting.
This is the kind of detail that redefines the concept of an affordable car. After all, who would have thought that Tesla's cheapest model would also be one of the most advanced in safety in the world? And it is precisely this philosophy, simplicity combined with genius, that sets the stage for Tesla's next innovation, one that is literally at the fingertips of whoever opens the door. In 2026, opening a car door shouldn't be a puzzle, especially in emergency situations. And that's exactly the logic Tesla adopted when completely redesigning the Model 2's door opening system. It may seem trivial at first glance, but how you enter and exit a vehicle can mean the difference between relief and despair. With this in mind, the Model 2's new door system was designed to operate with a single gesture, whether the car is powered or not. Instead of relying on separate controls, hidden levers, or complicated procedures, everything revolves around a single button. One touch, one path, one intuitive action. This new interior button has a dual role. With power, it activates the electronic lock motor. Without power, it mechanically releases the door using a built-in backup system. And believe me, this makes all the difference in critical moments. Just remember the episodes involving the Model Y, where a power failure forced parents to break the windows to save their children. It wasn't a hardware issue, but rather confusion under pressure. In the heat of panic, no one wants to remember which lever to pull, in what order, and with what force. The Model 2 teaches a new habit, a single gesture that works in any scenario. On the outside, the same idea was used. The door handle is semi-recessed, but with a shape that invites action without complicating access. It combines the aerodynamics of a modern design with the simplicity of a direct pull, eliminating the need for sensors, automatic displays, or software tricks. If the car loses power, the handle continues to operate mechanically, directly, without any surprises, without relying on electronics. It's almost like returning to its roots, but with a touch of cutting-edge engineering that ensures lightness, strength, and pinpoint precision. To achieve this result, the entire door architecture had to be redesigned. Tesla had to unify the electrical and mechanical pathways into a single unit, which required new designs for the handle, latch structure, and position detection system. Everything needs to work in harmony, without internal conflict. This includes sensors that know exactly when the touch is electrical or manual and can prioritize the correct response without causing friction between the systems. It's one of those details no one notices until it's missing. This approach also brings unexpected benefits. Standardizing the gesture allows anyone, from children to the elderly, to react quickly in unexpected situations. The button was positioned in a natural touch point, favoring instinct over reason. In an accident, the human body goes into survival mode. And at that moment, muscle memory is more valuable than any tutorial. Having just one learned gesture drastically reduces response time. And in emergencies, seconds count. Most surprisingly, all of this was achieved without compromising the structural safety of the doors. The Model 2 continues to meet the rigorous FMVSS 206 tests, which require latch and hinge strength in multiple directions. In other words, even with the simplified use, side collision protection remains intact. Tesla managed to combine practicality and safety without sacrificing either, a rare occurrence in the automotive world. Typically, you gain on one side and lose on the other. Ultimately, Tesla's decision reveals a broader philosophy, putting the human being at the center of engineering. It's not enough to build cars that perform well in crash tests if, when push comes to shove, people don't know how to react. The Model 2 doesn't just deliver technological innovations, it teaches safer habits, prepares users for extreme situations, and creates a new standard of emotional accessibility within a car. And it's precisely this logic of anticipation, simplicity, and reaction under pressure that also defines what happens when something hits the car, literally. The side of a car is often the most vulnerable point in a collision, 
especially when the impact occurs suddenly, with no chance of reaction. And that's precisely where Tesla decided to surgically innovate. The Model 2 features a three-stage side impact protection system, carefully designed to decelerate the impact energy and preserve as much interior space as possible. It seems simple at first glance, but the path the force takes within the structure is almost choreographed, as if every part of the car knew exactly what to do and when to do it. It all starts with an internal intrusion beam positioned inside the door. This component doesn't attempt to resist the force directly. Its function is to direct the impact to the side floor, a reinforced structural section that absorbs the first energy spike. But the key lies in the balance. It's rigid enough to withstand the initial load, yet flexible enough to deform in a controlled manner. This prevents the door from bending inward violently, which would be disastrous for those seated next to it. These are fractions of a second that gain shape and purpose through engineering. Next, the impact hits the outer edge of the battery pack, an area that now acts as a second longitudinal beam. This part of the structure, in addition to protecting the internal cells, acts as an energy dissipator along the length of the car. Instead of receiving the impact at a single point, it is redistributed in a continuous line, preventing concentrated forces from hitting fragile areas. This not only protects the battery, but also helps the floor remain more stable and uniform throughout the event. Between the pack and the side floor, Tesla positioned special absorption inserts. These pieces act as deceleration cushions, softening the force transition and transforming a sharp impact into a longer, more controlled movement. The effect is immediate. The car takes longer to deform, which, paradoxically, means more time to protect its occupants. This slight delay in deformation creates a more stable space for the side airbags to deploy correctly and do their job without interference. The final stage of the process occurs under the floor. Cross members connecting both sides of the car absorb the remaining energy and transfer it to the opposite side, like an invisible shock absorber. This prevents the force from concentrating on a single point and helps preserve the cabin's geometry. Seats, seat belts, and seat frames remain firmly in place. The result is not only a reduction in injury severity, but also a highly valued secondary effect, drastically reduced repair time. This layered approach creates a cascading effect that benefits both safety and maintenance. With less floor deformation, the chance of structural misalignment after impact is reduced. This means shops don't need to resort to heavy straightening equipment or replace entire sections of the chassis. Small, localized repairs resolve most damage. And all this without compromising the integrity of the occupant's survival cell. It's a veritable chess game between strength and endurance, in which Tesla always seems to be three moves ahead. It's fascinating to think that something so technical has such human implications. This lateral absorption system protects not only physical integrity, but also emotional integrity. Knowing that a car is designed to redirect the force of an impact away from you, even by millimeters, creates a sense of quiet confidence. It's as if the car is saying, leave it to me, I already know what to do. And this peace of mind is priceless, especially for those carrying a family in the back seat. But what's most impressive is that this reinforced lateral protection doesn't make the Model 2 Filoitouturit's Filoitouturintuan 2 look like a tank. On the contrary, it remains compact, light, and agile, maintaining its focus on urban mobility. Tesla's engineering has achieved something rare, dramatically increasing safety without making the car heavy, expensive, or difficult to maintain. And this pursuit of balance between protection and practicality also manifests itself in another sensitive area, the place where it all begins, the joints between the materials that make up the body. The Model 2's body is perhaps the greatest example of how Tesla manages to combine simplicity and sophistication in a single design. Behind each fluid design line lies a structure designed to resist, last, and, most curiously, contribute to comfort. This is because 
Instead of relying solely on spot welds like traditional cars, Tesla adopted a technique called rivet bonding, which combines structural adhesive with self-piercing rivets, the famous SPR. It sounds like something out of aerospace engineering, and it almost is. The goal is to create a more cohesive body, less prone to squeaks, and, above all, easier to maintain over the years. It works like this. The adhesive is applied as a continuous bead between the panels, creating a wide contact surface that better distributes the stress. The rivets go in immediately afterward, securing everything precisely without having to drill through the metal. The result is that, instead of concentrating the load on specific points, as occurs with welds, the Model 2 spreads the forces across the entire seam. This reduces vibrations, dampens interior noise, and keeps the car more stable even after years of daily use. And for anyone who's ever driven a car that feels like it's slowly falling apart, this is a relief. Another advantage of this system is the freedom to combine different materials in the body. The Model 2 uses ultra-high strength steel, where protection is crucial, and extruded aluminum, where the focus is on lightness and efficiency. The problem is, that when steel and aluminum come into contact, galvanic corrosion can occur, a chemical effect that wears the parts down over time. The adhesive, in this case, acts as an insulator, preventing this reaction. It also protects against water and dust ingress. In other words, the car ages better and is more resistant to everyday weather conditions. Beyond structural protection, this combination of materials also improves the car's tactile experience. The sensation of closing the Model 2's door, for example, is more solid, as if sealing a capsule. This refined touch isn't just aesthetic. It's the result of well-distributed rigidity and reinforced seals. The same goes for the roof, pillars, and attachment points. Less torsion means less noise when driving over uneven terrain. This may seem like a minor detail, but for those who spend hours in traffic or on long trips, acoustic comfort is a silent luxury that makes all the difference. What's more, this type of assembly greatly simplifies the repair process. Because SPR rivets don't require high temperatures like welding, the panels don't warp during fastening. This means that, in a minor collision, the technician can simply drill out the rivets in the damaged area apply new glue, and install new rivets in the same factory locations. No more heating, hammering, or violent realignment of structures. The repair is cleaner, faster, and more predictable. And, of course, cheaper for the car owner. It's this kind of detail that shows how Tesla thinks beyond the garage. It's not enough to sell the car. It needs to remain enjoyable to use, easy to maintain, and reliable over the years. This vision of intelligent durability, where even the type of adhesive is part of the plan, helps explain why the Model 2 is being hailed as a game changer. After all, it's rare to see an automaker invest in such refined engineering in a model that purports to be affordable. Typically, this type of solution is restricted to luxury sedans or million-dollar sports cars. And all of this has a direct impact on cost-benefit considerations. A car that's easier to assemble is also easier to repair. And when it comes to electric cars, where repair costs can be staggering, this modularity becomes an advantage. Less headaches, less time in the shop, less impact on your wallet. And Tesla knows this. That's why what's just ahead in the Model 2's structure is yet another example of how repairability and engineering work together, layer by layer, right down to the bumper. At first glance, the Model 2's bumper seems unremarkable, a discrete strip that integrates the car's aerodynamic design. But behind this modest appearance lies surprising engineering. Tesla developed a modular three-layer bumper system that combines impact absorption with ease of repair, 